when we talk about any life cycle now take consider a human life cycle what is a human life cycle a small means baby will be born and uh, he will be a boy in a teenage and then he will go to the middle age and then he will go to the Under. old age and then gone so now this is a life cycle of a human right similar way we should have to have it for a software also right so that is what our sdlc software development life cycle now software means you are telling me one one typical terminology you are using chris you are telling me development life cycle you are talking about development you are not talking about the testing so in sdlc we do have different phases what are the different phases requirement gathering analysis and designing implementation and testing and uh, uh, production or move to the production handover maintenance whatever you wanted to call it now in this particular life cycle here the birth of testing will comes over here so from here it starts with the stlc so this is what software testing life cycle now i by this one you can understand that in sdlc stlc is a part i will not get into the each phases now because uh, that will have a separate session so how we need to do the uh, different uh, phases of the sdlc so that we will anyways have a different discussion on this particular part so now here in the stlc means software testing life cycle we will be having tclc tclc means test case life cycle what is a test case so anyways we have a detail level of information what is a test case and how to write a test case what are the components of the test case and uh, uh, how to do the prioritization of the test cases and all those things we have a separate uh, uh, topic all together we will be discussing so i'm just saying that in testing what are the life cycles we need to know so when it comes to the life cycles the first life cycle we need to understand about the sdlc when you understand the life cycle of the sdlc then you can know means the birth of the stlc then you need to understand what is the stlc so then when you started learning the stlc then you will start to learn what is tclc test case life cycle so when you started to learn the tclc then you should learn bclc bug life cycle so now if you see here as we discussed in our human life cycle so how each and every phase will come to our life the same way when we are developing a software so these are the phases when we are doing the testing we will be having different phases and then when we are doing uh, test cases then these are the different phases and when we are writing the test cases so we will be having the bugs and for the bugs we will have a different life cycle and from the test case life cycle we can have another child which is called aclc automation life cycle also so in this particular life cycle we can discuss what are the phases available in the automation so that is the reason the most important concept you need to start this is a basic you need to understand what is sdlc what are the phases of sdlc and what are the different types of sdlcs available in the market if you understand this then you need to come in the different phases of sdlcs how you will try to do the stlcs and how you will try to do with the test case life cycles bug life cycles and alcs so now whatever the picture it was shared by rajalakshmi it talks about all the life cycles so manoj jansi and all other team members your first concentration should be start from here so this is what your starting point understand what is this dlc and different phases with the right examples and once after the sdlc try to get into the stlc and try to understand what are the different phases in the stlcs and then come to the tclc and the bug life cycles so this is what the structured way to learn this one now if you understand this one 
then go back. So then you can share the screen, Rajalakshmi. So now if you see here, this is what the phase is, the requirement analysis designing coding. So in this particular phase, who would be the role performing this and what is the outcome we'll be getting from the role? So this is what we'll be discussing in this software life cycles. And the same way, SDLC have this STLC and in the STLC have the test case development where we have the TCLC and TCLC will have uh, the bugs life cycle and then uh, the TCLC have the automation life cycle also. It's an excellent diagram. You just go back and see it in anywhere. We don't get this one. You know, the team once spent more than four and a half hour in discussion of this one. If you don't understand this one, you will not know the things properly. So this is a basic route. So first understand this one in detail. So this is what your first job for today. Learn all SDLCs. What do you mean by STLCs, TCLCs, BLCs, ALCs? So now Pravanya, Samudrita, and then Rajalakshmi, you said that you have already attended it. So then try to explain the same to the people. I'll ask you the people the same questions, how this is working. So tomorrow. Okay, now go back to the training document the content. Now, once you covered that life cycles, once after the life cycle, then you need to understand what do you meant by testing methodologies. So, you know, if you see here, eight, nine, 10 are the topics which we are discussed about the life cycles. Okay. And then you need to come back to testing of methodologies. Yesterday, we have discussed about the testing methodology. And we do have different types of testing. So there are many testings are there, but these are very most important testings are there. So that's where I wanted you people to refer this one. Okay. So you can spend once again, uh, and uh, yesterday itself, I asked uh, uh, Samudrita, uh, Rajalakshmi, and then Pravinya to complete the levels of testing and the testing approaches. So what I wanted you people to do is recap all and try to complete till 14. So that is what your people target. Once again, I'm giving the same thing. Even yesterday, I given the same thing. And today also I'm giving the same thing because we have the new joiners at the same point of time, it would be a recapping for you people. And uh, you can share this particular knowledge to the team members. And once again, I'm saying guys, this is very, very important. And in, in life, you will never like, uh, come back here and then we gone through these things again and again. So make sure that you learn all these things so that I'll ask you the same questions tomorrow when we join back at 11.30. Okay. okay. Are we clear what to do for tomorrow? Yes, clear. So, Samidrita, are we clear? Yes. Rajarakshmi? Yeah, it's clear. 